As gold in the furnace, the Lord put his chosen to the test. As sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. And in due time, they will be honored. And grace and peace will be with the elect of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Lubanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Sirach. I thank the Lord and I praise him. I bless the name of the Lord. When I was young and innocent, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. I prayed for her before the temple, and I will seek her until the end. And she flourished as a great soon ripe. My heart delighted in her. My feet kept to the level path because from earliest youth, I was familiar with her. In the short time I paid heed, I met with great instruction. Since in this way I have profited, I will give my teacher grateful praise. I became res resolutely devoted to her, the good I persistently strove for. My soul was tormented in seeking her. My hand opened her gate, and I came to know her secrets. I directed my soul to her, and in cleanness I attained to her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus and his disciples returned once more to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple area, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders approached him and said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? 
Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say, Then why did you not believe him? But shall we say of human origin? They feared the crowd, for they all thought John really was a prophet. <clears throat> so they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Authority is very important. We see that certainly in the family, particularly the relationship between the children to, to parents, recognizing that one has uh, wisdom, understanding, authority that is going to help the child uh, be formed properly, uh, to learn things um, so that they may uh, certainly be safe and that they may have fullness of life and so many other things. And so it is, of course, in terms of the life of faith. There must be an authority. And for those priests and scribes and Pharisees um, who worked at the temple, uh, the authority that they, of course, appealed to was the authority of Moses. And indeed, all the rabbis would appeal to the rabbi that taught them, who taught them, and so on and so forth. So there was, much like we have apostolic uh, succession in the Catholic Church, that is, all the priests, the bishops that have been ordained today can be linked all the way back to the apostles. Um, so the rabbis of their day um, could link themselves back to Moses as the authority, a teacher. And so their authority was rooted in this connection to Moses and the law. And of course, Jesus, of course, or Jesus rather, is the law incarnate. He is the word made flesh. And so he doesn't have to appeal to Moses. And the very fact that on the Sermon on the Mount, when he says, well, Moses said such and such, perhaps with divorce and so forth, um, but I tell you. Uh, and then, of course, in his forgiveness of sins. Who can forgive sins but God himself? No one else was going around forgiving sins. None of the scribes or Pharisees or priests, not even the chief priests would say, well, I absolve you of your sins, go and sin no more. But Jesus could, and Jesus did, because he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the word incarnate. He is the authority. And of course, that is what they would ultimately reject, the authority of Christ himself, um, presuming upon themselves an authority that ultimately um, was only linked to Moses and not to God himself in the same way, of course, as the authority of Christ. Now, of course, throughout the centuries, throughout these last two millennia in the church, we have seen this authority of Christ that was um, really confirmed in the resurrection of Christ and his ascension into heaven and embraced by all of the um, faithful throughout these 2,000 years has ushered in to the world a great transformation. Look at arts and sciences and architecture and farming and so many other things uh, that were really um, an offshoot, if you will, of this Christian faith that sought to give glory to God in the works that we do, uh, caring for the poor and, and the, under, the uh, underprivileged and the orphan and the widow and so on and so forth. And so this life of faith that finds its authority in Christ himself is really transforming. And today we celebrate these saints, Charles the Wanga companions, who in the mid-19th century, about um, 1857, 56, 57, um, 22 
of these companions of Charles Lawanga died a martyr's death, and many others also died, and many Anglicans died, um, resisting the perverse pedophilia and homosexuality of the king, who was forcing himself on these uh, pages of his court. And they resisted, and they found their strength in the authority of Christ. They were taught the faith, they believed the faith, they were uh, living a sacramental life, having been baptized, receiving the Eucharist, all because of the White Fathers uh, who uh, began the catechesis of these Ugandan peoples um, only six years before. But the, the faith was spreading like wildfire. Why? Because of the authority of Christ, the authority of uh, Jesus who himself, through the church, would continue this authority that would really change lives and change entire cultures and nations. As we celebrate this Eucharist, we turn to these wonderful martyrs and seek their intercession, particularly in a culture today that has largely embraced uh, homosexuality and perverse human sexual behaviors that are really so destructive to the human person and the dignity of the human person. We pray for conversion. We pray for change in this culture that ultimately finds its truth in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. May his peace be with you. With hearts filled with faith and complete confidence in God's merciful love, we now turn to him with all of our needs. <coughs> For our Holy Father, may the grace and promptings of the Holy Spirit be upon him as he leads the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For national leaders, may Christ grant them fortitude in their efforts to promote peace and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle to find peace in their journeys of faith. May God calm their fears and bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Eucharist strengthen us as we strive to be joyful missionary disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, May the grace of our Lord shine upon them so they may live in eternal peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, Ted and Terry Leichner, the Lockery family, Kate Long, and all those on our prayer list, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Debbie Castle, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of your intentions you bring to the altar this morning. For all those for whom we have promised to pray, for the needs of our families, our friends, and our nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you now, in your providential love for us, to give us all that is truly good and necessary for us this day. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for pure goodness, for we see the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for pure goodness, for we see the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all we offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, Charles Lawanga and companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit you be careers to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take, take away, away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be
Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us, in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and charity. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Say, Michael, your theme. The Lord bless